Captain. Ah, uh, Lieutenant, pleasure to see you again. An urgent matter has come to my attention recently, and I think uh, it's one well suited to your skills. The thieves in Neverwinter were greatly weakened by your efforts in the docks, yet they constantly strive to reclaim a foothold here. It has come to our attention that a group of them have put their word put out word they are looking to buy equipment and supplies to continue their operations, notably thieves' tools, lockpicks, and poisons, and more. We can't let them purchase those supplies. Agreed, we must stop them in soon. We think this is an opportunity to capture them by pretending to be merchants plying the wares they're seeking. We want you to take on the role of a noble an arms merchant who has come to Black Lake District to sell them from um, much of the same goods these thieves uh, have received, requested. The thieves will no doubt approach you, and when they do, I want them arrested. Are you sure I won't be recognized? I'm sure the thieves from the docks would recognize me on sight. I don't know if you've heard the descriptor of you being passed around the docks, but suffice to say, no one will recognize you when they all seem to know of your appearance is an arcane master composed of eldritch energy. Despite your accomplishments, your legendary accomplishments apparently, I think there is little chance the reality will match the rumor. I shall carry out my duty. Excellent, I'm glad you will help us on this plan. You may keep whatever the thieves are carrying with them as pay for your for the goods. That should be more than enough to pay you for your services at the in time. I have marked an empty estate on the map. I want you to go there and wait for the thieves, make contact with the watchman there and they can fill you in on more details. Okay, and Sir Grayson, correct. May we speak? Blessings of tear be upon you. Sir Naval has told me of your predicament, and it so happens that I have need of a squire. This is unusual, to say the least. Usually prospective squires spend months, even years, proving themselves before they are permitted to enter the nobility. But Captain Brelena and Sir Neval both vouch for your character and your ability, and I have heard of your exploits in the city as well. Still, count yourself lucky to avoid years of caring for my horse and scouring the rust from my arms and armor. Your need is great, so I'll take you as my charge. Very well, is that it, and I am your squire? Or is there something more you need done first? Not quite so simple as that, but years of service will be passed over in your case. I am Sir Grayson Corrit. My sword is sworn to Nasha, Neverwinter, and Tyr, and it falls to me to teach you chivalry, so that you will not dishonor me overmuch as your knight. Very well, I would be honored to serve as your squire. Good. You appear capable of defending yourself, so we'll not discuss that. The Brotherhood of Knights is one bound by the ideals of chivalry and honor. Without honor, a knight is nothing more than an animal with a sword. To be a knight is to lead a life of duty and responsibility. We are bound by a code that prescribes our every action. To be brave and valorous in battle against your enemies. To show no fear in their presence. To be just and righteous to embody and uphold the laws of your lord and land, to be respectful to your enemies and kind to your fellows, to protect the weak and those who cannot defend themselves. All squires have these rules impressed upon them by rote and lash, but I suspect that you are mature enough to take the lesson without the cuffing. I do understand my duty. Knowing the code of conduct is important for a knight or squire, but living by that code is paramount. To be a knight is also to live a life of service to your lord and realm. You will be expected to perform certain duties for the crown. Given your unique circumstance, these duties will be waiting for you after the trial. However, there is one observance that cannot be postponed. The vigil. 
What must I do? Your vigil is a time for reflection and contemplation. It is a sacred tradition. All who would become squires spend a night in the Solace Glade. You must spend the night alone, of course. Most choose to reflect on their vows or to ask the blessing of their gods. On the next morning, I will welcome you into our brotherhood. Very well. I am ready for the vigil now. Come then. I will lead you to the Solace Glade. Quora yet lives. You swore to me the Hostower would handle this. We did and we shall. I merely wished you to be here when the ritual took place, so you can see it for yourself. Have you brought what I asked? Yes. Here is a hair from one of the pillows she slept on at the Academy, and here is a thread from one of her robes she left behind as well. Excellent. Yes, these will do. I can begin at once, but I shall also need a drop of blood from you to power this ritual. My blood? Why? Only from the blood of one strengthened by justice can justice be done. Very well, but this stinks of necromancy. Nothing of the sort. Necromancy is so obvious. No subtlety. This is something much different. I am calling an elemental. Fueled by Quara herself. A reflection, if you will. Drawing from the same fire, the same blood. I think she will find this Animas Elemental more than a match for her. When will it be sent after her? Patience, my lord. Where she walks, this Elemental shall soon find its way there. Every knight and squire of Neverwinter has touched this sacred ground. To Helm, to Tempest, to Torm, and to Tyr have prayers been given. Think on that. Think on the fellowship you wish to join. Perhaps clear your mind and think of nothing. I will return in the morning, and you will greet the new day as my squire. Very well. I will see you in the morning. Indeed. I take my leave of you and your thoughts. Are you here? I can barely see anything out here. Is there something wrong? Look, the way trouble follows you, there's no way I'd let you come out here alone. Are you sure? It's kind of tradition for me to be alone. You really believe this stuff, don't you? Maybe I was wrong about nights. Well, I'm training just like you are. My mentor told me to follow his lead, so here I am. If you think I'm leaving now, think again. Anyway, I doubt I could find my way back to Neverwinter in the dark. Plus, I wanted to see if any of the gods would want to inflict further punishment on you. Hey, did you hear something? I didn't expect the girl to be here. We'll spare her the grief of crying over your corpse and kill her as well. I'm right here, you know. Why don't you try? Who are you and why are you bothering me? We're the ones who've been sent to kill you, Squire. Try not to die too quietly. Oh, lovely. And she did quit me as a pet. Damn. about a poor name choice those men came out of nowhere don't you ever spend one night in peace <sighs> it's rather rare trust me wish it wasn't so I believe that hey the leader there he's got a ring on his finger it's a circle with teeth or spikes or daggers could be I suppose it's hard to tell with all the blood here you take the ring I don't want to hold on to it. Look, maybe I better slip away before your knight returns. I don't want you getting into any trouble. Not a problem. It's, it's probably for the best, but thank you, Chandra. I appreciate it. Sure. Actually, in some ways, it was kind of fun. Good luck. 
And hopefully when we see each other again, you'll be Neverwinter's newest squire. What happened? Oh, you know, nothing major. I was just uh, attacked by Luskan assassins. Uh, they're not really a problem any long longer. No doubt they caught wind of our plan and saw this as their last chance to judge you as they wished. Either way, their efforts have failed, and that is all that matters. I take you as my squire and bind you to the service of the throne of Neverwinter. This title also admits you into the nobility. For truly, there can be no charge nobler than protecting one's home from those who would threaten it. Come, Nasher should be informed of your change in station. Uh, could I quickly check these guys, see if there's anything on them? Alright, sorry sir. I'm ready to go. Ah, Sir Grayson. A pleasure to see you. It is my honor to serve, my lord. What brings you here? You look troubled. My lord, it has come to my attention that this man stands accused of murder and is to be given over to Luskin for trial. What you have heard is true. Is that why you are here? I am here because this man is my squire and must be tried by your hand and the will of the gods alone. What is this nonsense? This knight has no squire. I would choose your words carefully, Ambassador, lest I think you are accusing one of my knights of speaking lies. I only hear the words of a man shielding a murderer. Then let the accused speak. What say you? Does my knight speak truly? Are you his squire? I am his squire, and I swear my service to Neverwinter faithfully and well. Then it is true. That means this squire will be tried here, Ambassador, not within Luskin's walls. There is no justice in this, but I was a fool to expect justice in Neverwinter. Seeing that gloating smile strip from her face pleases me more than you will know. <sighs> But this has bought only a little more time. Time we cannot afford to waste. We must find the truth of what happened at Ember, and quickly. But you cannot do so here. You have my leave to depart Neverwinter, provided you give your word to return for the trial. Of course, Lord Nash, it shall be done. Travel to Port Last. Someone there can guide you to Ember. Then return with whatever you can that will prove your innocence. It would be wise to speak to Hiramos in Port Last. He is said to be a fair man and vigilant of his people and the lands around. We'll see. You are to be congratulated on joining the service of Neverwinter and its knights. Serve Neverwinter, and it will serve you. For now, go to Port Last. It should be marked upon your map. Once there, see about visiting Ember as well. Keep your resolve. I am confident you will expose the truth of this matter soon enough. And after this trial, I will have more duties for you. Sergeant Black Corban. Hmm. Admiral Stimnix, welcome to the Black Lake District, sir. I am Sergeant Blackthorn, and it's a pleasure to finally meet you. You'll find this quarter quieter ward than when you you used to, I think. My men are an honest lot. We take no bribes and we tolerate no disorder. Uh, there's a lot more people around now. Is the lockdown not in effect? True enough, we couldn't locate the murderer, so Lord Nasher felt there was little point in keeping the district locked down. I've been added. I've added more watchmen to keep an eye on things. All the same, the lads will feel better with you in the district. I think. We've all heard how you cleared up the docks. You. You need any help finding anything around here? I'm your service.
Are there any merchants in this district? Only a few. You can try the Academy Square, just in front of the Archive Building. You'll find scattered merchants there. Best hold your nose if you're browsing their stalls. The shopkeepers serve needs of the Academy students. So it's foul-smelling of portions, I and the like. Very well, sir. Thank you for your time. Fall in behind me here. It's only the two of them. Can I help you? Do business to you. All things are canceled right here. Look if for anything in particular. Let's see what you have for sale. Jenkins, what you doing? Hey, you! Get away from here! Hey! Careful now, don't get too close from those crates. You seem like an important fellow. Do you work for the school? Ah, yes, yeah, that's, that's right. Assistant Kennel Keeper Jenkins. And who am I talking to? Dangerous beasts are uh, my stock in trade, they are. Lock them up, move them in and out. Beating them, serve them, deserve them. I see. So what's in the crates, friend? Well, I'm supposed to, I ought to say, ought to say, but um, who was? Them wizards keep secrets enough. They're imps, tricky little beasties with foul poison in their tails. I encountered some of them. The magisters use them for experiments and whatnot, and some of them they train as slaves or messenger bearers. A few they'll cut up, maybe, and, I don't know, let the students see what makes them tick. Don't feel sorry for the buggers, though. Just as soon as slit your throat as you ink out your guts, take a look at you. Okay, well, you're so pleasant. I best get back to the beasties. Very well, sir. <laughs> Take care of this. Get our team. All right. She had a few items. Hmm. All right. Well, so much for that. Chandra, you seem to be moving really slow. Either that or for some reason I'm moving faster than normal. Hmm. Let's see if you have anything new. Hmm, doors are locked. I wonder if we can open them and check it out. Well, that will mean the other guy doesn't have anything new then. Sand, all those spells you were selling, scrolls, do you have all those actually memorized? And if not, you probably don't have access to them, do you?
There we go. Our full crew. So, ah, and here we are in the illustrious port last. Watch where you step. You might get some of the local culture on your boots. God, Sand, you hold your nose so high, it's a wonder you don't wear your hat on it. I didn't even know what that means, my dear, but I'm sure as far as our, your local expressions go, it's quite quaint and charmingly ignorant. Sand and Chandra going at it. Ah... <sighs> I'm not sure what to do. Treat the locals with some respect, Sand. It's no less than they deserve until they prove otherwise. And it's a lot easier to get information from them. We should find... Her Hermons as quickly as we can. He can't grant us access to Ember. He can grant us access to Ember, and hopefully we can find some clues there. Asking some of the locals couldn't hurt either. After we speak with Hermans, of course. Agreed. They may have seen something, and as long as we use simple words, we may be able to get information out of them. I'll try and sort through what we find as we discover it, but check with me if you're ever curious about all the all we've gathered, I have a good sense for when we have enough to bring to trial. Alright, I'm glad to have you along. The pleasure is all mine. As exceptional as my skills are, it's good to see them put to use. Lost zero with sand, wow. Show me whichever for sale, please. We'll see what the other guy has. Do you carry any unusual items, sir? I believe this is where we need to go. I'm surprised you have the courage to show your face here. A lot of people here had friends in Ember. If they find out who you are... Wait a minute. Is my description that accurate or something from them? I'm not responsible for what happened and I'm here to clear my name. You're free to conduct your business here. But you'll be watched. If you have questions, ask them now. I'm a busy man. What do you know of an individual called Black Garius? A Luskan Archmage of some power. Not someone you want to cross. Like many of the Arcane Brotherhood, Black Garius aspires to rule, regardless of what harm it may cause. I think you will find that attitude common among most of the Hostower, and Garius in particular. What worries me is that he may succeed. Hmm. I see. Luskin is a threat to you, isn't it? Of course. The Luskins would lay claim to our harbor for their warships. Having secured such a prominent location, they could mount a swift attack on Neverwinter. Or Waterdeep, for that matter. They talk of a peaceful coexistence, but I know their words to be false. Luskins' difficulties with Ruithim may have come at a fortunate time. As long as Luskin is at war with their island neighbor, they cannot turn their attention elsewhere. Can you tell me what happened to Ember? It was fine when I passed through. I did not do anything except remove the Githyanki from there. Innocent slaughtered. The village burned to the ground. All done by you. My only regret is that Ember falls under Luskin jurisdiction, not mine. So why are you so certain it was me? 
There was a witness to the attack. You were described in great detail. Oh, so someone survived. Then I want to talk to this person. Out of the question. She's been through enough. And besides, you won't like what she has to say. But I do need to speak with all the witnesses, no matter what they say about me. Very well. You may question the witness, but you shall do it in my presence. Bring the girl here. Yes, Captain. Chandra? Chandra, is that you? Elaine, you survived. Thank the gods. Chandra, it was horrible. They butchered everyone. Elaine, it's all right. Shh. Look, I brought people to help. We'll get to the bottom of this. You! Chandra, it's... it's him! Why would you bring him here? I am not responsible for what happened at Ember. I am trying to find out what happened and bring those to justice who actually caused the travesty. I saw you murder those people. No, Elaine, it's not true. I know what I saw. They had no weapons. Some even surrendered. But he... he... We're here to help, not hurt you. That's right, Elaine. We're here to help, all right? It was trade season, and the shipments into Ember had fallen off. I had decided to trade along the South Roads. When I came back to Ember, I heard the screams and saw the smoke. I left my wagon and went into town. That's when I saw the bodies. I saw him kill the quartermaster while he was on his knees, begging for his life. You saw this man here do the killing blow? And was it just him? And where did he... Sand! We don't have all year, girl. Nor do I have the patience when the trail of these killers grows colder. There were others, but I didn't see them closely. I ran as hard as I could to Port Last, and they took me in. But you did do it. Or someone that looked the part. There are many magics that can cloak one's appearance, even allow one to change shape. I know what I saw. Don't you think it is possible that someone else disguised as me? I suppose it's possible, but I don't know. I just don't know. How did you manage to get away if you got close enough to identify the in me? I don't know. I just started running. I guess they didn't notice me. You were lucky, hmm? Or perhaps they let you escape. Who else besides me? Were there any of my companions there? You had about a dozen of your friends with you. But I don't recognize anyone with you now. A dozen, you say? Interesting. Do go on. So, you didn't see a dwarf, a gnome, a half-demon girl? Well, no. I believe they were all human. Well, considering that those two and the gnome account for at least half of us, that might seed some doubt. More than half in spirit! Yes, you keep telling yourself that. But you could have just hired others? Yes, my dear. But as your hesitation suggests, why would anyone do that when they have trusted allies who would follow one anywhere, despite their common sense? Uh, no offense. Could I ask you a couple more questions? I'm sorry to have put you through this, Elaine. Guard, please see that she reaches her quarters safely. Listen to me. If we can get her to work for us, her story of tears will sway the court in our favor. Elaine's not some tool, Sand. She's just survived the massacre of her town, which someone caused to get to us. Girl, if we do not use your friend, the Luskins will, and they will use her testimony to kill our friend here. So, please dispense with your convenient morality. Either we use her, or they do. Alright, let's go. We still have a lot to investigate. All right, so we can't talk to her anymore. I was hoping we could ask her a couple other things. All right, so... Well, let's go see who those individuals are. We'll see if we can find anything. Hmm. 
Hmm, we also need to ask some of them if they know anything. Careful there, let's watch the West Mage. I ought to tidy up a bit. Never time. West Sage? Isn't that a reagent for preventing undeath? Uh, yes, that's right. You have an eye for the obscure. Does Port Last have an undead problem? Uh, no, 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 no. It's uh, Ember, a little village to the north of here. The people were slaughtered horribly. If their bodies aren't tended, they'll return as undead. It's only a matter of time. I've not been to Ember since the massacre, but I've heard that the bodies are rotting where they fell. Why haven't the bodies been buried? Uh, Ember's Luskin territory, and the Luskins haven't bothered. Not that I'd expect anything less from Luskin. Surely you can see that it's a crime. Those corpses mustn't be left to rot, nor should innocent souls be condemned to torment. Perhaps, perhaps you could help. You seem a hearty sort. Alright, what do you need me to do? We're headed there soon. I knew you would understand. Look here, this uh, worm sage extract mixed with some of other reagents. You need only sprinkle the bodies with this extract. If the souls remain trapped within, their negative energies will be suppressed and they will be free to pass beyond this world. An overly dramatic description and assumption of the properties of souls, but she is correct. Worm Sage will serve to fight the necromantic arts. Here, take this bag, sprinkle a pinch of the powder over each corpse you find, and that should be enough to put the spirits to rest. I will wait for your return. Okay. Certainly something we can do. Help uh, show that we're actually interested in the people. Unlike Luskin. Oh, all right, almighty Wendersnaven. Oh, Wendersnaven, yes. Uh, who are the Wendersnavens? The Wendersnaven see all, but none see them. See? I, yes, they see. Yes, but who are they? Winter's name, know all, but none see them. None know them. Yes, none know, but we know. Yes. No. Oh. I don't think you're listening to me. Maybe we should put these two fools in a room with Aldenon. No, no. These, there's sense in it. But not at level we can understand yet. Oh, Windersnaven. Windersnaven, yes. This is like, this is like Eldenon in chorus. It's making my head hurt. No, 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 there's sense in it. We just can't understand it yet. Okay, so nothing we can do yet. You had the option to speak with 